Rocket is a system that infers graphical constraints. It is embedded in a graphical editor that allows users to build composite application objects. Rocket does not require the user to answer questions. As I will show you, it uses not only semantic but also graphical information to infer and propose constraints to the user. By simply pressing a key, the user can cycle through the various possibilities proposed by Rocket eventually accepting one by just letting up the mouse button. In this example, we will build a slider. We start by making a box and an elevator, which will eventually be constrained to move along the vertical axis of the box. Every object in the scene contains a number of points, or sites, that can be constrained, typically corners and midpoints. These points are surrounded by gravity fields whose shape can be visualized. The fields are used to infer the constraint. Each one corresponds to a type of constraint. When a dragged object enters a gravity field, sonic and graphical feedback objects are turned on to show the user which constraint is being inferred. Here we drag the elevator inside the box. Then we snap it to the vertical alignment feedback line, indicating that we accept the inferred constraint. We also need to keep the elevator inside the box. Therefore, we grab the elevator, and Rocket proposes an alignment as the first guess. By hitting the cycling key, we get the next guess, which is the one we want, a containment constraint. The elevator is now constrained to move vertically inside the box. Next, we create text objects, a label, then the upper value, and the lower value of the slider. We connect 100 to the top left, and 0 to the bottom left corner of the box. Then we vertically align the label with the center of the box, and set a fixed distance between the two with a spacer constraint. As we drag the top middle side of the label, Rocket proposes first a connector, then an aligner, and finally a spacer, which we accept with the desired distance. Finally, we create two segments that we place along the vertical middle axis of the box, one above the elevator, the other below it. We connect the first line to the top of the box. Now we resize the line and connect the other end to the elevator. We make the second line thicker and brighter in order to highlight the current value of the slider. Similarly, we connect the second line to the elevator. Before connecting the other end, we change one of Rocket's parameters, the default number of guesses, to 3. As we drag the line endpoint, Rocket may now propose up to three different constraints. Notice that as we move close to the side, Rocket finally infers a spacer and a connector. By snapping to the connector feedback object, we accept it without cycling through other possibilities. The slider is now complete. We have anchored the box and we can resize it while the constraints are maintained. By automatically inferring constraints within the basic drawing metaphor and by using both sonic and graphical feedback, Rocket allows the user to quickly choose and apply desired constraints.